Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very quick review on two of the new highlighters by A Dose of Colours. These are called their Supreme Glow Highlighters. They already have the baked highlighters which look like big domed bake, baked makeup. Um, and these are a little bit different. Now I bought these both at iMats. As far as I'm aware at the moment, gold is the new black is the only one which is available on their website retailing at $28. I got mine obviously a little bit cheaper because I bought mine at iMats. And what they did at iMats was they also released three of their four new ones. So they only brought three including, which doesn't include black is the new gold if that makes sense so I picked up like I said gold is the new black and I also picked up the other one called milk and honey now obviously I bought a lot of makeup as you guys have seen in my haul and I've steadily been going through certain things which I wanted to review or show you guys now I bought quite a few things at the dose of colors stand so I definitely knew I wanted gold is the new black once so I swatched it and then out of the other three, I was kind of like, okay, which one would work best on my medium skin tone? There was a very dark kind of bronzy gold, which almost came out a bit too dark on me. I think that would work well, quite well on women who've got a, a much deeper complexion than mine. And then there was a more pinky one. And even though I don't mind pinky highlighters, I generally tend to go for more warm toned ones, which is why I picked up a milk and honey, because I felt that that was one that would definitely one that I would use quite often. I don't use pink ones as often. Apologies, my eyes are watering. I just sneezed like five times, uh, allergies. So I am going to show you what they both look like. So they both come in different packaging. The packaging is, well, the packaging is the same, but the color on the packaging is different for the highlighters. I think it's more to do with what matches the actual shade. So this one is uh, Black is the New Gold, and then this one is Milk and Honey. And then for some strange reason, this one is in a matte casing with shiny gold, and this one is in a holographic casing, and it doesn't have the name on it, and this one is shiny. So for some reason, they've decided to do it a little bit different. So this is what they both look like. This one is Gold is the New Black, and this one is Milk and Honey. So I'm sure you're probably looking at them both going, they look kind of boring, they look kind of plain. Do you guys remember my video that I showed of the Makeup Geek highlighters that were exactly the same? They look very flat, very 2D, not very shiny and highlighty and holographic-y like you suppose a lot of highlighters to be like, wrong. See this one right here? That's this one here, Gold is the New Black, and I love it. It is very, very similar to the quality of a Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek ones, just like these, have got absolutely no glitter in them whatsoever, which is amazing for people who um, have used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits and they find them too glittery, too many particles of frostiness and that sort of thing. Same as Jeffree Star 2. So these ones have got no glitter in them whatsoever and they are very soft, very finely milled, pick up very easily onto the brush. This is me going in with one swipe and just blending it in. You get high intensity shine, a very nice luminous finish. It does not accentuate my pores too much or the lumps and bumps that I have because I do have textured skin as I have mentioned to you guys before. But these ones are definitely a lot more flattering on the skin. I love these. I give them a 10 out of 10. I definitely want to see more come out from... Um, the Dose of Colors highlighters range. As a brand themselves, I do like Dose of Colors quite a lot. I think their lipsticks are excellent. I think their eyeshadow palettes are excellent. I've got one, the ice cream palette. I didn't get the mauve one and the more neutral one at the um, at IMAX purely because I got so much makeup as it is, I had to kind of hold it down. Um, but even this lipstick I'm wearing right now, this is one of the ones I picked up at IMAX called mondays it's such a pretty color it's like a very muted mauvey shade which is why i find that it worked really well with me wearing orange makeup but anyway let me show you swatches of both of them now so the dark one obviously being gold is the new black and the other one is milk and honey which is a gorgeous pale softly spun gold sort of color and the other one is definitely more of a truer gold shade so these would definitely work well across the board on all skin tones whether you're light medium to fair 
even from looking at this in the pan, I was like, it looks quite dark. It was only when I swatched it and I was like, whoa. I mean, look at that on my skin. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold. Definitely one that you can blend in beautifully into your makeup and it will let, make you look luminous and stunning. So that's it for the two highlighters. I definitely recommend the Go For Milk and Honey, especially the pinker one would definitely work well. I think they would all actually work well across all skin tones. I find Dose of Colours to be very um, universal to all skin tones, which is great. I also bought two of their liquid lipsticks, like I said. Um, I will quickly show me applying one of them right now, Mondays, because I was doing another video earlier and it just kind of happened, same as like the highlighter. Uh, so Mondays is the one that you can see wearing on my lip right now. And this one here is called Campfire. Ugh, oh, again, it's gorgeous. If I hadn't worn this with this makeup look, I would have definitely worn this. This one is like a beautiful, orally orangey pink. That makes sense. It looks orangish. It looks like a strange orange. <laughs> Does that make sense? I love it. Love Dose of Colours liquid lipsticks. I've done a review video along with lip swatches of some of them before, which I'll link below. It's one of my most popular videos. These are lightweight. They're fully opaque. This is one layer. They work really, really well on the lips. They don't settle within the lines of your lips. They don't crack. They don't fade. They are excellent liquid lipsticks. So I highly recommend these. And definitely these two colours will work on all skin tones as well, from light to medium to dark. So that's it. I know quite a few of you would ask me which highlighters I had bought from IMAX. Like I said, I may not always reply to everyone's questions, but I do read them. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you going to get any of these or do you have any? So let me know what your thoughts are. I will see you all in the next video.